All right, what's up guys? Welcome to a little video about how to create your call, your CAW, your create a wrestler. Um, this is probably going to be pretty easy for most people, so I'm going to keep this as short and sweet as possible, but I also know that sometimes we have new guys and they could just use a little extra help kind of breaking all these videos down into something that is uh, manageable, something that you guys can remember um, that we're kind of doing here. So Let's go ahead and get right into this. Uh, if I can get this all to work properly here. Little technical difficulties with my remote play. All right, so you go to my creations. You're going to do superstar, create a new custom superstar, male or female, whatever you want to create. And it'll kind of bring you to the loading screen. And it's pretty easy cheesy from there. I mean, it's pretty much the same stuff that you have always messed with if you've messed with this game. Um, I like the way it's set up now. A lot of it is all in the same area. You can do your face customization here. Um, the more work you put into it, the more it'll set your character apart and make them not look like just a created out of the box guy. I like doing the facial regions here. You can pick each region, you select the points, move it around, really mess with their face. Uh, you can do the facial structure so it breaks down each and every facial structure that you would want. There's even, even some templates um, that are kind of built in. And you can go really in-depth with this. You can upload your own templates and do the face photo capture um, and really get into it. Uh, so yeah, have fun with it. Make your guy the way that you want to make him. Really think through what type of fighter is he going to be. Is he going to be a small high flyer guy? Is he going to be a big bulky guy that can't move fast? Like Think through your move set. Think through the kind of guy that you want. And then really begin to build him here with the height and the weight. Um, customize him, all the fun stuff. Then you get into attires. It's pretty simple. You can either just edit the first attire. I personally just copy and paste and fill in all of these spots. And then I work on the entrance one first. And then I copy and paste over to the ring and remove what I don't want for the ring. Find your way to do it and set those. Set the name, the entrance name. All that fun stuff. Nope, do not do that. Personal information. So here's why this is so much nicer in 2K18. You can get to all of your attributes, abilities, and skills here. You're allowed up to five abilities. Maybe six. I think it's five. Five or six. Look at the rules. 85 overall is where you need to set your attributes. The nice thing is you can set it here. Hit escape and immediately see any change. So you can start to see those changes really quick. You're allowed 26 skills. Again, check the rules. Leave hit point ratio at what it is. Set their hometown, their traits, all that fun stuff. Do you want the crowd to cheer or to boo? Good stuff there. Pretty easy. Set it how you want. This is kind of cool. You can set a different pose for each uh, attire that you have. Um, Man, this remote play is really being a hassle today. Um, go set all or set each one individually. These are a lot of fun. So you can really see there's like a ton of them. Pick which one kind of fits your guy. After you kind of set that, you can then hit um, L3. And you can zoom in and take some pictures of your guy. Use that for profile pictures, uh, make graphics, all kinds of fun stuff. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Hit escape, hit save, save your guy. Now if you want to edit him, he's already going to be there. So I'm constantly making edits to attires, changing around, tweaking his abilities and his skills, all that fun stuff. It's nice because you just go to edit custom superstar. 
your guy's going to pop up. You'll get the same menu. So we'll work on Captain Alex. And you'll get all the same stuff. So you can go through and really mess with the attires. Set that how you want to set that. And again, when you go to personal information, you can then tweak. So if you want to come in here and lower some of this and raise some of this, you have that ability to tweak all of that and see it immediately and get to your stuff pretty quickly. Remember, anytime you make any changes, you need to re-upload your guy. I'm going to show you how to do that really fast, and then we'll end this video and get to another one. But anytime you make changes, you need to upload it with hashtag GFW, hashtag chaos, and then hashtag your guy's name. That way we can easily find it. Make sure that you add us as a friend so that when we search, we can just search for friends, search underneath those hashtags, and we should be able to find everything that we need. 2K18 seems to load quicker. So even though it feels like it takes forever, it is faster than 17 was. Just real quick, these are the other characters that you have access to. Most of these are not uploaded. I will upload Luna. I will upload Credence. And I will upload Nikki Butler. Uh, the Credence and Nikki Butler are the two people that we use for backstage interviews, in-ring interviews, any kind of interview that takes place on Chaos. Dr. Doran is the owner. Luna is the GM. Mersloff and Casey are the two announcers. Usually you won't need access to those three guys, but I'll upload the other one so that you can have access. If you write for Luna, make sure that you just let me know because I kind of am the main writer for Luna and I just want to look it over, make sure that it actually fits into her style. I'm going to show you how to upload this real fast and we'll get you out of here. Uh, you go to Community Creations, Uploads. You see you got a bunch of uploaded stats here. Um, we'll go ahead and upload Cactus. Actually, we're going to upload Captain because I'll replace the watering hole Cactus with the real guy. Um, I do not have him for re-upload. Hashtag GFW. Chaos. And then finally his name. I'll just do Captain Alex. You can put in a description. I always put the date. And then bam, you're done, except it'll upload it, and then you're done. Your guy will be up there. Uh, we can do checks on him, make sure everything's good to go. You can do the same thing when you need to download anything. So I have a bunch of images. Oh, I know, I need to upload any images. I'll put up like Chaos, Watering Hole, those kinds of things. The arena is uploaded. I, I'm going to re-upload both of these today, so those will be uploaded. The championships are uploaded. The show will be uploaded, um, and then I do not do move sets, but if you ever need something like that, it's there. So that's it. That's all for this time. If you got any questions about uh, editing your character, uploading, anything like that, it's pretty straightforward. Just let me know how I can help. We'll see you next time.